Hello dear students, today we'll discuss chapter 4 of the Outsiders. At the beginning of the chapter, we see that the park is deserted at 2.30 in the morning. Pony Boy and Johnny go walking beside the fountain. It's cold out, and Pony Boy is wearing only a short-sleeved shirt. Suddenly, the boys see the blue Mustang from earlier that night. Five socials, including Randy and Bob, jumped out of the car and approached them. The socials have come to get even with the boys for picking up their girlfriends. Pony Boy can tell that they are drunk. Bob insults Pony Boy, telling him that greasers are white trash with long hair. And Pony Boy, in return, he said that the socials are nothing but white trash with mustangs and madras shirts. In a rage, Pony Boy spits at the socials. A souche grabs Pony Boy and holds his head under the frigid water of the fountain. Pony Boy feels himself drowning and blacks out. When Pony Boy regains consciousness, the Sushas have run away. He is lying on the pavement next to Johnny. Bob's bloody corpse is nearby. Johnny says, I killed him. And Pony Boy sees Johnny's switchblade dark to the hilt with blood. Accordingly, Pony Boy panics, but Johnny remains calm. They decide to go to Dali, thinking he might be able to help them. They find Dali at the house of Buck Merrill his rodeo partner. He manages to get the boys $50, a change of clothing for Pony Boy, and a loaded gun. He instructs them to take a train to Windricksville, where they can hide in an, an abundant church. Pony Boy and Johnny get on a train, and Pony Boy goes to sleep. When they get to Windricksville, they hop off the train and find the church, where they collapse into exhausted sleep.